But um, one of the things that's really important about this matchup is the desyncs. Oh, um, yeah. How you get your opponent to to react and respect your desyncs. And so, good luck. And so I'm going to immediately start out. We're both going to start well, out with these yeah, ice blocks. We're throwing ice at each other. And we're going to slowly start to infringe on each other's space. Yeah. This and is, someone's uh, eventually going to throw out a blizzard. <laughs> someone's going to do it. So, something's got to give eventually. Oh, you, you did it first. And so there wow. we're going for these back throws. And what the back throw does is it knocks, um, it gets you, uh, it knocks away. the other ice climber away. Yeah, so, so you get the split. Yeah. And Connor, Connor looks like he got the better of that one. He did. Ooh, both and grabs. That was really smart wow, of him that to was grab. Sick. I was uh, shielding, expecting him to wave dash down smash. Um, and so he just wave dash grabbed, and that was really smart. All right, Connor. That desync wall. Um, I'm trying to bait out the uh, get up attack there um, because it's a popular option. You can do the get up attack with your main climber and then do a uh, do kind of whatever you want with the yeah, backup climber. Yeah, do whatever climber. you want. So that's why I was wave dashing no, no. in front of him. But then he, uh, he ended up getting me anyway. Uh oh. <laughs> Connor saying right, he's Connor's an idiot. Okay, so now we get to see the single climber versus. Two oh, I, I I love how and Connor's that's dealing really with difficult the, uh, because the ice this, blocks with jab. Yeah, it's hard rather though, than shielding them. He's not able to like really get any stage control, ah! and eventually <laughs> <laughs> he's moving in, man. And eventually, all right, it looks like he might be dead now. Yep. Eventually, there's the you there's can the just down throw down air, which is your uh, as far as I know that is your favorite way to set up a wobble because I've seen you do fun, it about yeah. a million times. It's it's not it's not real and Connor. So Diz, be a little careful here, Diz. Diz, no. D no oh, it's, no, it's to 300. Oh. All right, it's, all right. It's 300, okay. not 250. All right, all right. I was worried. I was worried. I thought I thought you were going to throw away a game because you're talking to me and having a good time. I wouldn't want it to happen like that. <laughs> so you, you, you have the, the additional weirdness of being able to hear the crowd right. along with me. Oh, fuck. Just, just a little, a little voice in your head. So, what happened there? Basically, I stand at the ledge to cover if Look he tries Bobo. to, <laughs> if he tries He's to get so the ledge. Sad. Then when he goes into stage, I just run and yeah. grab him. Mm -hmm. And if I notice, I notice that he wasn't mashing, so I could just wait to start the wobble. Oh, what you did. oh. <laughs> He's so unhappy. Um, if he had mashed, then I Somebody wouldn't have out. been able to wobble, and then I would have had to. Um, yeah, do something else. Yeah, I would have had to just throw. <laughs> There's the back throw, like we saw before. Oh, there's another back throw. So it's just it's just Popo's killing nunas. Oh, jeez. I got <laughs> I thought your nunna was his nunna and then every Alright, here's so here's Wobble. Like, here's another one. So, yeah! so that that's one of the reasons that solo climber is so hard against double climbers, because not only is the neutral difficult because of the ice box and the blizzard, but also recovery is so difficult. Yeah, because they can edge guard with a wobble like pretty easily. And so Connor, Connor recognizing the fact that this that this can go up to 300. Oh yeah, I remember that at King of the Bill. He did not kill you. And so, the important thing about when I was getting wobbled. Yeah. I know. I, I know you like to say that while you're getting wobbled is a good time to think about how you got wobbled in the first place and try to construct your your game plan around that. Yeah. And the other Jeez, thing is, man. I was diing up and in. Um, in case he tried to kill me early or like Yeah, I I always DI while I'm getting wobbled too. Just in case. And so and so because I was DIing that forward throw didn't kill me and I had a chance to keep fighting. So mm -hmm. that's a lesson to everyone. Um, make sure you're always DIing when you're getting wobbled. Yeah. And I also like to hold jump so that I don't just end up right in front of the ice climbers. And I I end up in the air so I can get to a platform. And there I did one pummel to sort of uh, wait for yep. my backup climber to get in sync with me, and then I could start the wobble. So it's always important to DI because you never know when you get another chance. So that, oh, that yeah. ended up getting me his backup climber, and then when I came up with both climbers... Yeah. I, I, I think it's really important to keep, to keep ice climbers honest and that they, they have to actually kill you. Don't, don't let them get anything that they don't earn. Oh, all these... The, the, the double grabs, I think, are... The, the coolest interaction in this matchup when both climbers are grabbing both other climbers, but that should be it. <coughs> yep. Yeah. So, All right, so Diz is up one. I can't ban, yeah. But yeah, I think 
so it's really important to look at, um, yeah, like you said, all those little interactions, like who grabbed who and who hit who and, like, how, how each player controls yeah, how, the space. How, how did neutral flow until we got to this unfortunate situation? Why? Tell them to do something better. So now, so now we're on Yoshi. So tell me, tell me why you liked Yoshi's here. So I actually don't like Yoshi's from this match. Oh, you, so, so, so earlier I was talking about how <laughs> it, it is a rule that if you pause, you must forfeit your stock, but it's not a rule that if you pause, you must end your wobble. That's true. A lot of people kind of take it as an unwritten rule, but I don't think it's ever been written down somewhere. Oh. Lost Nana. Ah, oh, that's good. So yeah, that'll be a wobble. So again, like like wave dash down smash, while it's powerful, <laughs> is like really easy to punish. Oh and, yeah, because uh, you got especially getting punished with a wobble is not good. But uh, yeah, get, get, getting punished with a wobble is is the worst thing that can happen. It here. is pretty bad. The the only thing worse than getting punished with a wobble is getting punished by having you and your teammate get killed by something. Oh, jeez, those I, those shy guys never had a chance. All right. Oh, that was that was nice. The the blizzard to keep Popo away while killing Nana. I would really appreciate. Okay, I'm gonna turn pause off after this match because I think <laughs> the wobbles are an excellent time to talk about. <laughs> wobbles like, wobbles are happen. an excellent time to talk about things, and I think I'm seeing just why you're the person who does self commentary because that's that is that is a good time to do it. And you can talk about how you got the wobble, and you can talk about how you're going to get the next one. It's just a good time for everyone. But maybe maybe Connor has got wise to your self-commentary choices long before I have. Uh-oh. All right, so now i got double Sopa. We haven't seen this yet. That's true. And that's another thing that I think is really interesting about the Ice Climber Ditto is that it's actually... Um, four different matchups: two v two, two v one, one v two, and um, oh, he, he might live. He lived. Ramble. Oh, what a taunt! <laughs> I tried oh, to. I no, wanted you, to down smash. You did. You did something that was not down smash, unfortunately. Oh, I like that roll. <laughs> I liked it. Oh uh, well, yeah, that's the end. So one of the common approach options for a single ice climber against two ice climbers is um, a forward air because it goes over desyncs and it goes over the down smash. Mm. Um, it's, it's a pretty meaty hitbox too. It's out there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but the problem is there's enough lag on it that mm. um, it can be grabbed. Yeah, it's not safe on shield. Look at all these ice smashes and grabbing his nana. Ooh, getting your nana too. That's not good. Oh, you got the wrong side of down smash. Wave dash in too far. I think I think a really important thing about playing melee carefully is learning not just the maximum distance of all your wave dashes and dashes, etc., but also being able to do the shorter ones so that you make sure you don't overshoot your opponent. I was showing S1 earlier that you can actually slow down your run as every single character. You can slow it down while you're running? Yeah. Oh, just by like pushing back a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you, you can also slowly put the turn the control stick down. Interesting. So Diz, you got two. You feeling confident in game three? I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling um, pretty good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm turning pause off. And if elected, pause. Oh, has Connor to be doesn't like off. that. Connor loves pause. That's true. That's a rule. Yeah, it, it, it is a rule. <laughs> Connor hates that. <laughs> it is a rule. Since and, and any unnecessary feature of the game can be requested to be removed by any one player, and the other person must agree to it. That. That includes all mods, all skins, um, color blindness for certain team compositions. Not compositions as in, you know, Link Peach or Sheik Marth. Or for like but, green, red. But like green, red. Yeah, actually, green, my blue, teammate is colorblind for green, red. So yeah, he requests that. that one of the teams is blue. So yeah. um, one, of the, one of the things I do that I look for is if people tech or miss a tech on a platform, I always look to wave land grab, and that leads into a wobble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, people are laughing. Yeah, being, and, being and so I think oh, that was do, close. The best you're, thing you're, to, the you're, best thing to you're do, you're flirting with the devil there. The, the best thing to do is just uh, get get up attack if you miss attack on a platform. Ooh, that yeah, jab actually was uh, really big. It'll stop you from getting up there quickly, and being able to get your shield up first, so that it, on on your way up you. Get oh, it. that was really. That awesome. was real nice. Hand off and, and we got some handoffs. So okay, what oh, happened there just, was 
He hit me with, I think it was a down smash. Like, it was a strong attack. And then um, the backup climber did um, a weak attack on their way down. Yeah, so you got back, real, back into his hands. real hard, weak, and, and then, then he, right yeah, into his hands. And then he did the handoff, which was awesome. Oh, that was great. One of my, one of my favorite platforms in the game is that tree platform. Because if you, if you wave land on it, you'll come off at a downward angle going at the speed of your wave land. So Ganondorf can get a weird fast fall on it, and so can Link. Huh, interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. I love Pokemon. It's my favorite stage. Oh, no, the ice block didn't work out. Yeah, this is pretty close here. Yeah. Hunter might be yeah, able to sneak one off little, you. A little ambitious. Um, <laughs> a, little, think, a little ambitious. Yeah, the thing, yeah. The thing about like uh -oh. ice climbers on the ground is that... Um, like they, ice climbers control the ground so well that, um, that when you try to when you try to hit them with an up smash, like it doesn't really hit a lot on their sides. So right, it's it, it's it's mostly above them. Yeah, so it's, it's like it's a big like risky anti-air. Mm -hmm. um, but as you can see, like it's so hard for the solo climber to move around the two climbers. So he Hunter's, was rolling Hunter's giggling a little bit to try to um, you know get around the desyncs, and there's just not much you can do. So it's kind of easy to trap them. Oh, he got rid of Nana. Oh, oh, that was great. Yeah, that was nice. Really great match. patience. Um, he waited just like a brief so now, moment. Can you, yeah, you can save her. Oh, get, nice wow, back air. That was, was like, real, that was not a lot of time for that. Right. That's real, real tight. Because Nana, Nana's invincible for a good bit of uh, delay. Oh, the Russian Wrecking Crew. All right. So now we have the rock we transformation. Have, we have this transformation. And that's true. Their face when they hug the wall. They're, they're, is they're, they're, their face is pretty adorable. They're they're like ah eh, the wall no. Well, one thing uh, I, I once did to sweet on the tree. Uh, I threw a boomerang away, pulled a bomb, jumped over the boomerang, and then comboed boomerang into bomb while he was behind the tree. Oh. He tried to take advantage of, of your uh, resting on your laurels. So I was eating a Pop-Tart. Yeah, you're still eating that Pop-Tart. I yeah, can hear he, it. He came up to get me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Damn. Diz, when, I got when, that when, when, when this tournament's over and you get second place, are, are you going to blame the top the, the Pop-Tart? I probably am. But the thing is, I was eating the pop tart, and it allowed me, and it allowed me to bait him into trying to get me. Oops! And <laughs> so I tried to press B. The, the, the pop tart was a bait on purpose. I tried, to, I tried to press B to do my side B, but I accidentally pressed A. Ah, uh, I see. So okay, that's a really cool thing that I like. The if you press B as you're falling from the respawn platform, your main ice climber, he just unplugged my controller. He unplugged your controller that? so that I need so to reset that, uh, my controller. One second. Yeah, yeah. Um. The main ice climber does. Okay, I'm, I'm good. The main yeah. ice climber will shoot an ice block, but the backup doesn't. So I can have. Oh, okay. um, so you just, you just so, get one, so and, then, get a and then the backup going. guy's free to move yeah. around. Is having ha having lots of desync opportunities is really valuable because you never know when you're going to need it. So you want to have lots of ways to get it. Right. Right. Well, congratulations, Diz. Welcome to the um, Grand Finals. Thank you. Looking forward to it, and I will uh, step off so that the rest of the matches can...